Weekend we did hit the peak of hurricane season. It's generally around September 10th. It's really the second week of September is the peak of the season. And so we're at the height of it right now. It's over the next couple of months. Things start to turn less active, but we still have a big chunk of hurricane season left ahead of us. We are still tracking two named storms. We have Hurricane Lee after weakening some this weekend. It is back up to a cat three and we have Margo notice both lifting to the north at this point. Nothing pointed at the Gulf. The Gulf is staying quiet for a while longer. So here is Hurricane Lee, a category three this morning, re intensifying after battling some shear the past couple of days. It is going to start to make that turn more to the north in about We'll say Wednesday will be more noticeable with that term, but it's got a northwest track. They do have it up to a cat four notice, not really impacting any land over the next couple of days. It will be close to Bermuda by Thursday night into Friday. Not a category four anymore, but still a powerful hurricane growing in size and then notice to the north it goes and by this weekend while it's cat one, it's getting bigger and making its way to the north. Now while it was uh, we were thinking, you know, maybe or hopefully this is going to be an out to sea storm. There's still not a guarantee with that as our ridge backs away and it turns to the north. There are some signs that maybe perhaps it actually dies back to the west at some point this weekend as the trough departs, the ridge gets stronger. So it still looks like especially coastal areas of New England all the way from Boston up through Maine and into parts of Canada could see some impacts from this storm. You can see a pretty tight cluster of our models bringing it up near the coastal areas of New England and up into uh, parts of the Canadian Maritime. So that would be this weekend could be an impactful storm for those.